In the first part of the presentation, we examined uh, the updated response data uh, for patients in a non-randomized cohort. In this part of the study, about 150 patients were assigned to receive either nivolumab or nivolumab plus ipilimumab. Using the blinded independent review of scans, the response rate to nivolumab plus ipilimumab was 23% compared to 11% with patients who received nivolumab. In contrast to other diseases, in small cell lung cancer, pd one expression seems to be very uncommon and not predictive of response. So that there was actually numerical increases in response rate amongst the patients who were pd one negative compared to those that were pd one positive. And so it doesn't seem that pd one is an important biomarker for response in this disease. But building on that initial efficacy, we then extended the survival analysis to examine longer-term outcomes and found that two-year estimated survival of patients treated with nivolumab plus ipilimumab was 26% compared to 14% in those who received nivolumab. And those sort of long-term survival numbers are generally not possible in this disease, which is rapidly progressive and rarely sees patients survive to two years. I think is indicative of the long-term benefit that's possible in the subgroup of patients who really benefit from immunotherapy. We next move to the uh, randomized portion of the study in which about 250 patients were randomized to receive either nivolumab or nivolumab plus ipilimumab. This is the first time this data has been presented and as a result, the outcomes are still premature and follow-up is not long. But the response rate was the main focus of this part of the presentation. And in the randomized cohort, the response rate to nivolumab plus ipilimumab was 21% compared to 12% with nivolumab monotherapy. And so those response rates were very similar to what had been seen in the previous part of the study and confirms that this efficacy that we're seeing uh, seems to be real, even in a randomized setting. Um, the next major part of the, the presentation related to the pooled analysis of all 401 patients who were treated in both the randomized and non-randomized part of the study. We found that responses were seen in both second line and third line and beyond and the responses were seen in both the platinum sensitive and platinum refractory patients. So these sorts of treatments, this sort of immunotherapy can be beneficial for patients in a variety of settings um, and uh, platinum sensitivity didn't seem to determine response. We next examined safety across the whole 104 of the across the 401 patients that were treated and found that safety looked quite good amongst the patients treated with nivolumab where only 12% of patients had any grade 3 or 4 toxicity and only 2% of patients had to stop treatment due to some toxicity. As has been seen with other combination immunotherapy studies, the degree of toxicity was somewhat increased in the nivolumab plus ipilimumab arm, where about 35% of patients had some grade 3 or 4 toxicity, but that rarely needed uh, led to discontinuation of treatment where that happened only in 10% of people, and almost all of the immune-related events were able to be controlled and ultimately resolved with immunosuppression or holding drugs. 